everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to Ask Think, episode number 113 for Monday, August 4th, 2014, and it's August already, guys. It's August. You guys are going back to school soon. I'm going to miss you. Ah. Okay, anyway, uh, last week, guys, I forgot to ask you a question. I know, dumb. But, so uh, I won't be showing any of your answers this week because there was no question for last week. So this week's question for the next video is from Julia Simmons, and it's what's your favorite Pokemon by far? And I like this question because I don't know a ton about Pokemon, but I wanted to add something to it. So what's your favorite Pokemon by far and why? That way I can read your comments and I can get an idea of what the really good Pokemon are. So when I play Pixelmon, I can say, oh, that's one of the ones that one of, one of my subscribers really liked. I'm going to pick it up. So uh, <laughs> so I'm kind of using it as research and also because I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Now, before we get to the questions, I want to remind you to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. Remember, only one question per comment, but you can leave as many comments as you like. Also, if the comments on a This Ask Think are closed, go to the most recent Ask Think and ask your question there. Now, on to the questions, and the most important question of all is, did I or was I affected by Sharknado, the second one? My goodness, guys, it was crazy here in New York last week. I'm sure you saw the news reports on sci-fi about this realistic and totally true movie called Sharknado 2. <laughs> oh, man, that movie was incredible. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched it or even know uh, much about Sharknado 1 or Sharknado 2, but it's just this off-the-wall, like, terribly uh, poorly <laughs> written. It's just... It, the movie is so bad that it's good. I don't know if you guys really just, 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 it's, it's just so stupid that it makes you laugh. And, uh, and the actors are so good at keeping a straight face while they're acting because you know, they're thinking the same thing. Like, oh my gosh, we have to do this. Really? This is what's going to happen. You're kidding. Right? So, uh, but they, but they keep it really serious and that just makes it even funnier. David Osborne asks, think what happened to liking every comment you see? You liked a few of my comments on a lot of the ones I see on Ask Think you didn't like. Does that get tiring for you, etc.? No, I always like the comments that I see. I see, obviously, you can see yours is marked as spam, so I can't like this one because as soon as I mark it as not spam, it sort of disappears. Uh, but any of the comments that I do see on Ask Think, I read them all, so I just click the thumbs up as I read them. So it's not any extra effort or anything like that, and I still do it. Wild Monkey 203 asks, hey, think, are the Hunger Game video in the background sped up or is that the original speed? For the most part, they're sped up. Sometimes they are the original speed, but uh, I like to put the, see, if I if I left them the, the, the correct speed, uh, you would either, you, you would just end up having a game where you don't get to see the end or, or at least see me die or whatever. Um, so I always do a little bit of speeding up so that it matches the length of the episode so you guys can see what happens at the end because I know some of you guys actually pay attention to what's going on in the background. LC Gaming asks, have you ever been seasick before? Well, I, you know, I'm not really sure. Uh, and the reason is I've never been seasick before. But when my wife and I were in the Maldives, we were on a liveaboard, a, a scuba diving liveaboard. And uh, after, I think it was the second night we were there. Um, and, I, you know, I don't know, maybe because some people said there's no way. Like, if you, if you get seasick, you would have been seasick from the start. Because, you know, it wasn't really rough seas or anything like that. But all I know is I woke up in the middle of the night. <clears throat> and I, oh my gosh, I felt awful. I had a headache. I was, you know, I was throwing up and everything. Uh, it was awful. Really, really a horrible night. And the next morning I woke up and uh, took some like motion sickness pills and it didn't really do much of anything. Uh, we went diving that morning. I came back and they gave me these little like, uh, these little like wristbands or whatever. And I was already starting to feel better and I put on the wristbands and I started to feel really good. So I don't know, um, according to my wife and the other physicians that were on board, they were like, oh, I think you had food poisoning for about 12 hours. Um, I don't really know what it was. So I may have had seasickness, may not. But now I'm kind of thinking that I'm always going to bring those little um, wristband things uh, just in case because it was such an awful feeling. Uh, that I'm worried that I do get seasick and that I did get seasick and I don't ever want that to happen again. 
Deedster6 asks, have you been parasailing? If you have, where? I did it when I was on vacation in Grand Cayman. I love Grand Cayman. Um, you guys, well, a lot of you probably know, I try and go there every year and I have been ever since I was like in high school, my parents used to take me and uh, my wife loves it as well. We, um, we, we, and in fact, <laughs> uh, let's see. So today's my, oh, so, so, well, uh, yeah, we're going next week to Grand Cayman. Uh, I leave, we leave, um, we'll be gone about a week. So it's not like a two week thing where you guys will totally miss me. You won't even notice I'm gone except for, I won't have videos for a whole week. So you guys will be bored. Just kidding. No, 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 no. I'm going to pre-record all the videos and have them pre-uploaded. So my schedule will remain the same. Um, and I'll have all the videos uploaded. Uh, I probably won't be as engaged on Twitter or anything like that because having a week away with my wife and um, <laughs> we're going to relax and enjoy ourselves. And so, uh, yeah, so I am going to Grand Cayman and that's sort of an announcement that I'm going on vacation next week. Bat and OLC says, I've seen a lot of YouTubers with Adobe CC and you're one of them. How do you get them? Because I saw the prices and they are high. Uh, no, our partnerships don't pay for it. Um, a lot of YouTubers you probably know are younger, so they're able to get student pricing on the uh, on the Adobe programs. And also, um, you, you mentioned CC, which is what I have. And uh, it's really not that expensive because um, you can pay monthly and uh, you can get sort of like bundles. Um, I, I can't remember, I can't remember all the programs in the bundle, but I, I, I think I pay $25 a month, uh, for access to like Photoshop and Lightroom. And, uh, I, I, I don't have Premiere because, uh, I, 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 I tried it out and I didn't really like it. I like Final Cut Pro better, but, uh, yeah, it's got a few things in it and you can sort of mix and match them. And it's really nice because it's on a monthly thing and, uh, and you don't have to pay that huge price up front. The next couple of people ask about Minecraft PE and ThingSlab and what days those are on so they don't have to waste time looking for it or whatever. But um, all you need to do is go to my channel uh, and click the about tab at the top. Uh, so go to youtube.com slash thinknoodles and uh, go to about at the top and you can see my whole schedule uh, Monday through uh, the whole week. I'm not going to go, but you guys get the point and you can see which videos are on which day. Mohammed Al Hamadi asks, why don't you bring back the closest one to get the right number of likes? And uh, Rachel Gregory is right. I don't really like asking for likes. Um, and the question thing is a way more fun. I like that a lot better. I like uh, it, it works. It, I get to see more interesting comments from you guys and more of you guys get featured. So I think that's the best trade off. CyberTiger31 asks, what's the greatest thing you've ever smelled? You know, I was going to think of something like really disgusting, like Kopi's poop or something. <laughs> but uh, no, honestly, um, the, one of the one of the smells that really like gives me this great feeling is the smell of a roasting coffee, not roasted coffee, but roasting coffee. Uh, I used to roast my own coffee, buy the beans green and roast them till they're brown uh, at home. Can't do it here anymore because it puts out a lot of smoke and I don't have a balcony or anything. It'll set off the, the smoke detector and, you know, get all loud and stuff. Uh, but the smell of a roasting coffee is just this thing that just like, you know, you catch it once in a while. It's a really unique smell. It doesn't, it smells different than roasted coffee, completely different. And uh, it's just, oh man, I love that smell. Hoonji asks TI-84 or TI-89. I have no idea because those didn't exist when I was buying calculators. I, I remember the the, 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 the the choice was, I think, I want to say it was the TI-81 versus the HP-48G. That was like the debate of the, of the, I guess, two decades ago thing. Not two decades ago, I'm not that old. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, my choice was the HP 48G because I love HP Logic. And if you guys don't know what that is, uh, you know on a calculator, you press four plus eight, you know, you press it in that order, four plus eight. Well, on an HP, you would press four and then eight and then plus. Um, it's, it, it's, a, it's a different version or a, it, you have to think differently. But once you learn to think that way, uh, it, it helps you out with a lot of more complex equations and stuff. Sydney H asks, is it boring to edit your videos? No, I don't find it boring at all. Uh, it, I mean, some videos are a little bit more mundane where you're just like, okay, I went here. Oh, right. I, I, I you know, I, 
I cut there while I did that, so let me fast forward and, you know, that stuff's a little bit boring, but things like Think Slab, I can do so much creative stuff after recording in the editing that I love it. Sheena1234 Isation asks, have you ever been stung by a wasp, bee, or hornet? Yes, probably all three. Um, the one that stands out the most is uh, a hornet, and I remember it was, oh gosh, it had to be 15, probably like 10... Let me see how probably 15 years ago, uh, my <laughs> my cousin Josh and I and, and his his son actually watches my channel now. But uh, my, my cousin Josh and I were were in his backyard. Uh, well, outside of the backyard in, in this desert area with some BB guns. And uh, we came across a hornet's nest. And I, I don't know if it was my idea or his idea, but it was one of our idea that we, you know, shoot the hornet's nest. Why not? That makes complete sense, doesn't it? When we were far enough away and we were behind a rock and everything, and we, uh, I don't remember which one of us hit it, but one of us did, and uh, made the hornets pretty mad, and we just started running back, just at top speed. And when I got back home, I was like, cool, we made it, that's awesome. And then I think it was either my grandmother or, um, or my aunt was like, what's wrong with your arm? And I look over to my arm and it's just swollen at my shoulder. And uh, one of the horn I didn't realize it because we were running, but one of the hornets had gotten me really good on, on my right arm. Oh man, that was dumb. Uber Dark Tiger X says, do you like to read books or do you just read for fun and when you're bored? Um, I like to read books for fun. Uh, and I do it whenever I have free time, especially on vacation. Bubble Cubes asks, how do you get used to talking into a mic? Do you feel like you're talking to yourself? No, um, I feel like I'm talking to you guys. And that is probably how I got used to it is that I imagine that I'm actually talking to you guys and you guys are listening to me like you're right in front of me instead of my screen here. It's actually people. And uh, that's how I got over it. Expert the Elf 21 says, hey, think while I was in New York, I saw a store that's called Think Coffee. And I thought of you. My question is, do you like coffee? Yes, I love coffee, and I know what place you're talking about. I think there's more than one of them, but the one I'm thinking about is, I think it's on 6th Avenue. But uh, yeah, I do love coffee. It's one of my biggest passions. Rosario Nava asks, how is the temperature in New York in summer? Generally, it's pretty hot and humid. This summer has been amazing. It's been quite cool. We have really not had many days over 90 degrees, which has been a godsend for Kopi. Rainbow Plays Games asks, do you ever watch your own videos? Yes, um, sometimes, uh, depends on the video. And I don't really watch them on YouTube. What I do a lot of times if I'm watching them, it's, it's to check for errors or missing things, uh, especially Things Lab. I, I watch every Things Lab uh, after I've um, exported it from end to end, uh, actually while it's exporting, uh, to find any mistakes or things I've left out. And uh, yeah, I, I always watch those back. Some I don't because, um, you know, I, I don't really need to because I know how it's going to look and, and I know that, uh, you know, there's no editing involved. It's just open and close um, and that's it. Uh, like uh, usually Noodle Planet, I don't really, Noodle Planet Survival, I really don't uh, watch those back a lot. I mean, I watch a little bit to make sure the quality is there, but, uh, but I know that I've just started recording and finished recording. So uh, there's really no advanced editing that I could have made any mistakes. Super Invisible Panda asks, were you in a fraternity? If so, which one? Uh, I pledged for a fraternity um, my freshman year, I guess. Was it freshman or something? No, it was freshman year. Uh, no, no, it was sophomore year. Yeah, sophomore year in college, I did pledge a fraternity. It was Delta Upsilon, and my grades just plummeted. Is it sophomore? Oh, I can't really remember now. Anyway, uh, grades, yeah, it had to be sophomore year. Yeah, it did, because I wasn't in the dorms. Um, yeah, grades sunk and I <laughs> dropped out of the pledge class. Julie Stender asks, if you get to 500,000 subscribers, you should make a music video. I'd love to make one now. Um, it doesn't have to be at a certain subscriber amount. It's just that, you know, finding um, someone who, uh, you know, an artist, a music artist, I found one, but he's worried about parodies and things like that and the legality of them. Um, but, uh, you know, finding someone that uh, that's really, really good because I have these crazy quality standards and, um, you know, I really, really want it to be off the charts good um, and uh, and finding someone, both a, a music artist and an animator uh, in, in the range where I want them to be is really, really hard. 
Marley53113 on CBS, what's your screensaver on your computer? Um, a black screen. I don't have a screensaver. Uh, just after 15 minutes, my display goes to sleep. Mary Walton asks, how do I become famous like you on Minecraft? Because my bro says you have no chance with all those YouTubers. And you wouldn't even get noticed. And if you don't upload a video every day, you lose subscribers instantly. Well, uh, first of all, uh, uploading every day, um, that does keep you in the subscription boxes, but you're not going to lose subscribers instantly if you miss a couple of days of, uh, of videos. But, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if there's a lot of competition. I mean, uh, if you have good, unique content that rises to the top, it really, really does. It's just, you have to have something unique and you get a few people here and there. And all of a sudden it'll start to snowball and snowball and uh, you will be able to compete. Joseph Holdnock asks, what made you change this channel to Minecraft gameplay since you put your CP gameplay on the other channel thing wheels too? Well, I didn't really change this channel to Minecraft gameplay. I started adding Minecraft gameplay to the Pop Tropica and Club Penguin content that I already had on this channel and people really liked it. And uh, originally though, when I added it, people were like, no, 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 don't add Minecraft because what's going to happen is all the Minecraft people are going to say, I hate Club Penguin. Get this off your channel. I don't want to watch it. And what it actually turned out to be, it was the Club Penguin people saying, I hate the Minecraft stuff, take it off your channel. But there, you know, do more CP. But the thing was that there were more people watching Minecraft than Club Penguin on this channel. And it just didn't make sense for me to split that off to the other channel. So I said, okay, the Club Penguin people want their own separate channel with just Club Penguin. They don't want Pop Tropica. They don't want Minecraft. They just want Club Penguin. So I split it off. Sheena1234, Isaacian asks, think, do you hate it that in the Club Penguin parties, you have to come back the next day to get the item? It's such a waste of time. Well, I mean, that's kind of the point. Uh, they want you guys to log in every day. So that's how they do it. The next person says, think, please, I keep on missing Think Thursday. I was there at nine. I don't know when to get on CP. Well, um, and you're too young for Twitter. And I get that. Um, well, first of all, you don't have to be a member of Twitter to, um, to, to check my, my feed. So you might want to just go to twitter.com slash think underscore noodles and look. Uh, but I also post on YouTube um, under the discussion tab uh, whenever I get on CP on both this channel and think noodles too. And I also post on Facebook and I think uh, Google plus will post the comment as well since I posted on my discussion page. So it's posted in a lot of different places, but it is at 3 a.m. Penguin time on Thursdays on Icicle. Philip Spots asks, Think what was your reaction to the confirmation of Club Penguin, Frozen Takeover, and the Olaf Puffle? I think it's great. I loved Frozen. And I know because based on my Solar Apocalypse Frozen um, Thinks Lab, which has the most dislikes out of any Thinks Lab, it's because some people are sort of programmed like, I hate Frozen and automatically dislike. Uh, but um, that's okay. Uh, I love Frozen. So I was really happy about it. And the thought of an Olaf Puffle, I think is incredible. The next couple of people ask a few questions about Pop Tropica and uh, Think Speaks videos specifically for Pop Tropicon. And uh, well, um, you know, I, I will do a Pop Tropicon video as soon as they pull out their um, trailer video. They usually do that a little bit in advance. And, and uh, seeing as um, I think it's this week is um, is uh, is part three of the underwater one. And I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Uh, Mission Atlantis, I think. Uh, yeah, it is. And um, so I guess it would be another three weeks after that we would have Pop Tropicon. And uh, the reason I haven't done many Things Peaks videos is because, you know, it's coming out in parts, right? So we've got Pop Tropica Survival. And I'm not going to do a Things Peak for each one because Pop Tropica Survival is technically one island. It's just coming out in parts. So that's why I haven't done any because they haven't really released any new islands. Michaela Kendall asks, do you know how to put a skin on Minecraft PE? If so, do a video on it because I'd really like to know. Yes, I do know how. However, I don't know how for my own version. Uh, you need an app called Block Launcher. Um, and I think you can find it on the Minecraft forum. And uh, once you have that, you can put a, put a skin on it. The problem is when I install it on mine, uh, because mine isn't a touch screen, I can't touch the little wrench button that's at the top. Um, and so I can't change my skin. Now, that said, when they come out with uh, 0 0.10.0 or 1.0.0, whichever one it is, uh, skins will be integrated into the game uh, natively. So you could just wait for that. 
Rachel Mazaka, and this she wanted this to be the weekly question, but I'm just going to answer it. It's if you were teleported into Minecraft, what would you do first? And I think the answer for all of us is the same. Punch wood. <laughs> That's really what you have to do in any version of Minecraft to survive. Natalie DeRosa asks, are you enjoying your Pixelmon series and learning more about Pokemon? Yes, I am. Uh, I really am enjoying this Pixelmon series. I love the server. I love the guys that I have on the server. They're great. And, um, and I am learning a lot more about Pokemon, although I'm still pretty bad. Harry Fenton asks, what launcher can I download CrazyCraft? It is the Void launcher from, from Void's Wrath, and uh, that's what you need for CrazyCraft 2.0. Power Hour Ghost says, think I barely got Minecraft on the PC, but it's so laggy. My FPS is go barely going up to eight and maybe if lucky 50, hmm, that's a big range. But anyway, I can't play any games or just play in general. Can you help me? Check the newest snapshot, 14W30 or 30 or 31. Um, and uh, supposedly people have seen some major performance gains in those and it should help a lot. Braves JV asks, now that you're two episodes into Crazy Cow, four, do you miss Hexit? I uh, no, I don't actually. Well, I don't know why I was about to say yes. Um, well, actually, I it was a subconscious thing right there that was saying yes because I miss being so OP. <laughs> the thing about Crazy Craft is I am constantly scared out of my mind that I'm going to die, and uh, yeah, so I, I do miss being comfortable in Hexit. But I love the adventure and I do like uh, being about to die at any moment. Mr. Sandman 98 asks, in the most recent things live, we saw the inventory of Thing's Wife with a bowl and two diamonds. Is that going to be her thing like your empty one and two full ones? Yep. Uh, I did say, you know, when I did her inventory uh, or when I when I was playing as her, uh, I was like, man, what should I put as her inventory? I was like, okay, the diamond sword works. And what are going to be her three little slots? And I thought, eh, noodle soup. And diamonds you know <laughs> she's a girl so you know and then, and then my wife loves jewelry so hey you know what might as well sophia pineda asks think why have your thing slabs been so short recently um well you know a 12 to 17 minutes i think is 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 the the low range um that you're referring to you know a machinima type of video like that takes a ton of planning uh to get things right and to get the plot moving and uh and, and to make things work. And if I've done a things lab video and I've done a couple and they're over 20 minutes, that's because I didn't plan well. Uh, they should be fairly short and uh, entertaining the whole way through. And if I'm taking like 20 plus minutes to get through a things lab, it's because I'm wasting time making things or something like that. And, uh, and, 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 and you know, the, the entertainment is slipping in my mind. So I like to keep them around 15 minutes. 15 minutes is the is the target I want to hit for those. So two minutes over is okay. Two minutes under is okay. But 15 minutes, I think, is the right length of time. Benjamin asks, hey, think when you name a minion from the lucky commenter, why does it have two eyes? Why doesn't it have one eye like Kevin and Dave? Well, uh, Kevin and Dave are special. And uh, so they have one eye while the others have two. Now that said, I did make a mistake <laughs> in the last video, the King Kong one. Uh, when I uh, when I used the morph mod to be Kevin, uh, I forgot or I, I, I didn't tab over to the one eyed minion. I don't know why. I, just a dumb mistake is really what it was. Uh, all, I was really just afraid that the, the King Kong up there was going to jump off. So I was just rushing and I didn't double check to make sure that I had one eye and I had two. <sighs> but whatever. Yeah, I did make that mistake and I did notice it after it was uploaded. Danielle Todd asks, think how come in your lab Kobe can be exploded and survive? She's a super dog. Really, that's the only explanation I can come up with. I don't know. She never dies. No, I, uh, I summoned her in 1.7 as invulnerable. LaserDude56 says, think, do you consider your Things Lab series a mod showcase or a YouTube cartoon series? Because it seems like a TV show. Uh, well, originally, I mean, it's hard because um, I am showing off a particular mod usually as the main focus. But it's more of a YouTube cartoon series in Minecraft, or um, some people would call that machinima. Um, and yeah, it is more like a TV show. It's, it's I mean, it's semi-scripted because I know what the plot is going to be. I mean, obviously, I don't know exactly what I'm going to say or exactly what the minions are going to say until I just go through it and do it um, on the fly. 
And, um, but I know the basic plot and how things are going to go. So I guess with all that planning involved and camera shots and things like that and angles, uh, it is more of a cartoon series than anything else. Julio Robles asks, think is crazy craft going to 50 or hundred episodes. I have no idea. It could go to 50, it could go to hundred. It could go to 50, hundred. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll see how it goes, see how I progress. Uh, if you guys are still interested, we'll just keep it going and see what happens. Jane Seifong asks, will you ever do your survival series with some of your subscribers again? Absolutely. Uh, those are going to be, well, I mean, at this point, there's still going to be just special episodes where we have it semi-scripted, kind of like uh, the, the, the submarine episode where there's a, a certain goal or task or adventure um, at this point. Uh, that said, when 1.8 comes out officially and it is on realms, the noodle planet is going over to realms. I won't be playing snapshots anymore. I'll be, I'll be on 1.8 until 1.9 officially comes out. So, uh, at that point when it's on realms, I may, uh, invite people more often. Marley 53113 on CB asks on the noodle planet, did lightning ever hit the treehouse? Not yet. And now that I've said that, and now that I'm hoping that we get lightning storms, probably going to have them pretty soon. Overpowered whale says, think, can you eat me? I'm made of noodles. Okay. I've never heard of a whale made out of noodles, but I guess that's what makes you overpowered. But anyway, I liked the replies and Luke says, I'm made out of bananas. And then airs play says, I'm made out of people body parts. So bam, I win. And I guess I made out of people body parts too. <laughs> and breezy gaming says, think what time do you normally go to sleep? I want to watch you sleep at night. And it's creepy the way that it's like crossed out at weird angles and stuff that it's just, Ooh, I gotta go. <laughs> Yikes. All right, guys, that's it for this week's asking. Don't forget to leave your question in the comments below so I can have something to answer next week. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, noodle on.